Hello, Igor Young Minds! Ngayon ay nasa week 6 pa rin tayo ng ating fourth quarter. Kung saan naman, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay ang assessment ng ating lesson na probability. Okay? So muli po ito si Feature 1. Para sa hindi pa nakaka-subscribe, ay huwag po natin kalimutang mag-subscribe para updated po kayo sa ating mga video lessons every week. At kapag naman may natutunan sa lesson na ito, ay huwag po natin kalimutan i-share sa iba at i-like na rin para may matutunan din naman sila. Okay. So start po tayo. Uh, review lang tayo ng kaunti sa ating probability. So definition of probability is that it is the chance that something will happen. It is used to describe how likely or unlikely it is that something may happen. It can be written in fraction form, very important to, decimal form or percent form. Okay? So kailangan dito, ang skill na kailangan natin, kailangan matuto tayong mag-change uh, fraction to decimal and then decimal to percent. Okay? Meron tayong mga videos para dyan. Para, ano, para mas maintindihan. Okay? Anyway, madali lang naman yan. And then, for the formula of probability, probability is equals to number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So ito ang importante din. No? So kailangan alam natin yung uh, formula ng probability na yan. And then, to describe probability, so ito yung number line natin, tingnan natin to kapag ang uh, probability ng isang event to happen is 0%. Okay? 0%. That is impossible to happen. Kapag naman ang probability that an event will happen is 100%, yan, it is described as certain to happen. Kapag naman ang chance ng event na mangyayari is 50% in decimal that is a 0.50 in fraction form that is one half okay kapag ganyan ang lumabas sa ating formula ng probability okay the event is described as as likely as unlikely to happen 50% okay kapag naman ang event i 1% up to 49%. So dito na yan. Okay? Yan. 1 to 49% or 49.99%. That is described as unlikely to happen. So medyo uh, may, may possibility na mangyayari siya pero uh, hindi ganun kataas ang probability. Less uh, likely or unlikely to happen. Kapag naman ang probability of an event to happen, ito na, 51% or 50.001 hanggang 99.99%. Okay? The event is described as likely to happen. Okay? Mas malamang na mangyayari siya. Lagpas na siya ng 50%. Eh. Okay? So yun lang tatandaan natin. Kapag lagpas ng 50%, that is likely to happen. Kapag less than 50%, that is unlikely to happen. Kapag 0%, that is impossible. That is not going to happen. Kapag naman 100%, that is certain. Sigurado, sigurado tayong mangyayari. Okay, tuloy tayo. Proceed na tayo sa ating assessment na agad. No? So ito na, huwag na natin pahabain pa. Okay? Problem. A recitation activity was given to students of grade 6 Rizal. The teacher wrote names of her students on slips of paper and placed in a bowl for a draw lap. Names were picked at random. Find each probability of the following scenarios. So ang teacher, naglagay doon ng pangalan ng mga students niya. Okay? Sa papel, nilagay sa bowl and then pipili magtatawag para sa recitation. Ngayon, ito ang mga pangalan na lumabas. Ayan si Marian. Okay, nandun, ito yung nasa bowl. No? So, kakunti lang ang student na nandun. So, ito si Angeline, si Angel, si Lincoln, si Fernando, si Carmela, si Lawrence, si Nancy, si Sonia, at si Anne. Okay, yan yung mga nasa loob ng bowl. Siguro, okay, sampu muna. Kayo muna mauuna, pipili ako sa tatawagin ngayong araw na ito. Okay, at ito ang mga sasagutan natin. Okay. So again, these are the names. Ngayon, problem number one. Question number one. Okay. What is the probability of drawing a name that begins with letter A? 
So, ano daw ang probability? Huwag natin kakalimutan. Formula ng probability. Probability is equals to number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So, kung alamin natin ito, uh, uh, maganda, gamitin muna natin to para makuha natin ang fraction form. Pagkatapos, let us change fraction to decimal and then decimal to percent bago natin i-describe yung probability. Okay. So, ngayon, tingnan natin. Sa probability na yan, tingnan natin ilan yung number of possible outcomes. Pag sinabing number of possible outcomes, ilan ba ang total ng lahat ng pangalan na nandiyan? So bilangin natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 possible outcomes. So probability is equals to 10 possible outcomes. So the number of favorable outcomes naman, itong nasa taas, malalaman natin yan depende sa kung ano ang tinatanong. So, ang denominator natin, hindi na magbabago tayo na lagi yan. Yung numerator na lang, it depends upon the situation kung ano ang hinihingi sa tanong. So, tingnan natin pa. What is the probability of drawing a name that begins with letter A? Using our formula, okay, number of possible outcomes, total number of possible outcomes is 10. So, what are the number of favorable outcomes? So, ilan ba yung pangalan na nagbibigyan sa letter A? Tingnan natin. Meron nandun si Angeline. Si Angel, meron pa ba? At si Ann. So, tatlo. So, the probability of drawing a name that begins with letter A is 3 over 10. Okay? So, yan ang fraction form niya. Ngayon, let us change this fraction form into decimal form. Paano gagawin yan? You just have to divide. Diba? That is just 3 divided by 10. Okay? If you are going to solve for that, Kung i-divide mo talaga yan, 3 divided by 10, ang makukuha mo dyan is 0 0.30. Okay? Hindi na natin i-elaborate no? kasi um, ahaba masyado. Okay? But if you're going to solve for that one, 3 divided by 10, that is just 0 0.30. Okay. Ngayon naman, so let us change this decimal to percent. Di ba? Ang probability can be written in fraction form, in decimal form, and in percent form. Okay, paano nga ba natin change ang decimal to percent? You just have to move or your, if kung gusto mo, multiply by 100 or just move the decimal point two places to the right. One, two. Okay, nandito na yung decimal point. So that is now 30 and then add the percent sign. Okay, so drawing a name that begins with letter A, the probability is 3 over 10 or uh, uh, 30, or 30 hundreds or 30 percent. Okay? So, to describe that one, it is unlikely to draw a name that begins with letter A. Bakit unlikely siya? Kasi less than 50 percent. 30 percent lang eh. Okay? Diba? Kapag less than 50 percent, it is, the event is unlikely to happen. Okay. Let, number two tayo, letter B. What is naman the probability of drawing a name that begins with letter C? Again, fraction form ulit tayo. So number of possible outcomes, 10 pa rin. Bakit nga 10? Kasi 10 mga pangalan na nandiyan. So ang numerator natin, tingnan natin, ilan ba yung pangalan na nagsisimula sa letter C? Ilan? So Marian, Angel, Lincoln, Fernando, Carmela. Isa lang, si Carmela lang. So that is the probability of drawing a name that begins with letter C is just 1 over 10. Okay, if you are going to change that one into decimal form, 1 divided by 10, that is 0 0.10. Okay, and if you're going to change decimal to uh, percent, move ka lang, 2 places, 1, 2, and dito lang decimal point, so that is 10, and then add the percent sign, so that is just 10%. So dito pala makikita mo na, ano ba siya? Likely ba siya? Impossible? Unlikely? Okay, certain? Makikita mo na dyan. So 10% is less than 50%, pero hindi naman siya zero. So the event that to draw a name that begins with letter C is unlikely pa rin. So it is unlikely to draw a name that begins with letter C. Okay. Dito naman tayo, number three or letter C. What is naman the probability of drawing a name that starts with a consonant letter? Okay, so meron tayong dalawang klase ng letter, the vowels and the consonant. So vowels ay A, A, E, okay, I, O, U. Okay, ang consonant naman, that is the B, C, D. Okay, tingnan natin dito. Again, sulat muna natin in uh, fraction form. 
Okay? The number of possible outcomes, ganun pa rin. Ilan yung mga pangalan? Sampo. Okay. Ang condition niya, uh, name that starts with consonant letter. Bilangin natin lang kayong consonant. Consonants are M, isa, uh, Lincoln, dalawa, Fernando, tatlo, apat, lima, anim, pito. So, there are seven names that begins with a consonant letter. So, in fraction form, that is 7 over 10. Okay, gawin natin siyang decimal. That is just 7 divided by 10. That is 0 0.70. Okay, if you are going to change uh, that decimal to percent, move the decimal point lang to the right one. Dalawang beses lagi. Sir, uh, pag kung ilang zero, hindi. No, twice lang talaga yan. Dalawang beses lang imumove ang decimal point to the right. Kasi para ka lang yan, nagmumultiply ng 100. So the answer is 70 and then add the percent sign. Okay? So that is now the chance of drawing a name that starts with a consonant letter is 70%. Makikita mo, oh, ano kaya ito? How am I going to describe 70% kaya? So more than 50% siya. So it is likely okay, to draw a name that starts with a consonant letter. Okay? Yan. So likely naman siya kasi more than 50% na siya. Uh -huh. So ganun lang. And next tayo. Next question tayo. Again, uh, question uh, number four or letter D. The probability of a female student being called in a recitation activity. So ano naman daw yun? Again, the formula for probability is that probability is equals to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So tingnan natin. Probability of a female student being called in a recitation Ilan yung number of possible outcomes ulit? 10 names, so 10 yan. Okay? So ngayon, tingnan natin, so ilan ba ang female student? Okay? Na nandyan. Si Marian, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim, ito. So 7. There are 7 na babae na female student. Okay? So ang chance or the probability that a female student is uh, going to be called is 7 over 10. So in decimal form, that is just 7 divided by 10 or 0 0.70. And then in percent, move the decimal point 1, 2. Okay, so that is just 70. And then add the percent sign, that is 70%. Okay, so kung makikita ninyo, 70% is more than 50%. So mas mahigit siya sa 50%. Kaya naman, that it is likely, likely siya that a female student is called in the recitation. So, mas malamang na mangyayari na ang matatawag sa recitation ay babae. Bakit? The chance na matawag sila ay 70%. Okay? Uh, number five tayo. The probability of a male student being called in a recitation activity. So, ano naman the probability na lalaki naman ang matawag? So, again, probability... Number of possible outcomes and denominator, that is 10. Kasi sampung mga pangalan. Number of favorable outcomes, ilan ba ang male? Okay? Tingnan natin, si Lincoln, si Fernando, at si Lawrence. At lang yan sila. So there are just 3 males over 10 students. So the probability that a male is being called is just 3 over 10. Para gawin mo yung decimal, you just have to divide. 3 divided by 10. You can pause the video. Practice mo kung paano mag-divide ng decimal. Okay? Or search a video kung paano mag-divide ng decimal kapag hindi pa masyadong kabisa. Okay. So, 3 divided by 10, makukuha mo dyan, 0 0.30. Okay? And then, dito na magiging madali ang buhay because to change uh, decimal to percent, you just have to move the decimal point 1, 2 places to the right, and then write 30, and then add the percent sign. So, the probability that a male student is going to be called in the recitation is just 30%. Para ma-describe yan, 30% is less than 50%. So that is why it is unlikely naman that a male student is called in the recitation. So mas, mas less ang chance na matatawag ang lalaki kasi tatatlo lang naman sila. Okay? Or 30% lang sila ng kabuuan. Uh -huh. So that's all for our assessment. Sana may natutunan. Salamat muli sa inyo and don't forget to subscribe. See you again next video.